YouTube. So today we are interviewing an ex-cheater in Valorant to get his perspective on this whole cheating thing. Before anything, I just want to say that uh, I did get permission. I asked GamerDoc, we want to do this the right way. We don't want to promote cheating. I don't encourage cheating. Please don't cheat. It ruins games. It ruins people's experiences. So this is merely for educational purposes, right? If you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash eggwick. And if you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. So first and foremost, I did ask GamerDoc. He's one of the guys on the anti-cheat team for Valorant. And I asked him what I need to show before actually interviewing a cheater. So we want to look at this tweet by Riot k 3 o And he says, there's been an increasing amount of cheaters in Valorant who try to hack high-level accounts and rage hack before they automatically get banned to try to amplify a detected cheat or social media account, okay? First things first. This whole thing, it's not a whole point why people hack these accounts is mainly for clout and mainly to boost these accounts. So I'm just giving a heads up that these cheats have already been detected and these cheats will almost 100% get you banned. It's just that the way the cheating, like the cheating, how do I say this? The way the cheating web works is that a lot of them have multi-level marketing pyramid schemes for cheats. So they earn money by tricking you to buy and after you fold to their lies, the cheats they use in your mat are not detected, but they use a small time window to advertise the cheat before they get banned. Basically, that's what's happening. So a lot of them are playing in high elo games or playing against streamers to promote this cheat so that people will buy it when in fact they get you banned. And either way, you shouldn't be cheating in the first place. Now, just a PSA before we start the interview, please enable your uh, two-factor authentication or your authentication just so your account doesn't get hacked. We don't want anyone's account getting hacked or anything like that. And the most effective thing you can do, even more than reporting, is have a protected account. Just a heads up. Protect yourself, everyone. Use protection. All that good stuff. Anyway, so today we have a cheater who actually reached out to me over Discord, right? Let me show you what he said. This is what he said, chat. Hi. About the last egg vid, I used to cheat in Valorant and still pretty up to date when it comes to cheats and how they work. I thought it might be interesting for Agwick to learn a bit more about this kind of stuff and what Vanguard is actually doing. So again, mainly for educational purposes, we want to see the rationale, the reasons why this guy cheats, why do cheaters do it, how this whole thing operates and why you why you shouldn't actually cheat. All right, so I'm going to hop into a call with this dude. Okay. Hello, Mr. How do I say your name? So first things first, we have a bunch of questions for you, right? Number one, first, can you like introduce yourself? What's your background on cheating and all that stuff? Okay, yeah, I'm, f I'm from Germany. I'm 16 years old. And Wait, you're 16? Yeah, I'm 16. I really just started cheating because I was bored of the game. Okay, and you were bored of Fortnite, right? That's where you started your cheating yeah. journey. And how many games yeah. have you cheated on since Fortnite? Or when, when, would you, when was the first time you cheated? Was that like four years ago? When was Fortnite like at its peak anyway? It's, I started cheating like three years ago and Fortnite was released in 2018. So when you were 13, you started cheating? Yeah. Damn, that's a while. Okay, so the main motivation behind cheating was because you were bored? Yeah, basically. I see. If you cheat for wins, you're really just a loser. Okay, so the next question probably is, have you ever gotten banned cheating? What's the cheating experience like? It's not as fun as people think because you get banned after like at least one day. Right, and that's in Fortnite or is that in Valorant? Basically every game. Wait, so you're paying how much for these cheats only to get banned in one day um the average price for cheats is uh, i think like 15 bucks per day mm -hmm. you can use them for a few hours and then you most of the times get banned yeah but how does that actually work in valorant because they hardware ban you right so if you cheat once doesn't that mean that you're already uh your computer is already detected and you, you can't cheat anymore yeah that's basically the case but there's software out there you can buy two that changes your hardware serials so you can basically cheat again on the same pc okay well, yeah because i always thought that valorant had like a very invasive anti-cheat or something that goes into the kernel or I i'm not too familiar like how does that all work so you have to use the software software and then when you get banned you can cheat again because you're it's like a vpn or something you have to use a vpn but as i said there's like software that changes your mainboard and cpu and uh, things like that like your serial numbers mm -hmm. so you're basically just unbanned permanently because the game thinks you're on your pc i see how is valorant cheat compared to other games like how is the anti-cheat compared to fortnite or actually have you cheated in like apex because i know apex had a lot of cheaters in the past too yeah i used to cheat in apex they banned hardware too and fortnite does too huh 
okay. How is that compared to Valorant? Because, you know, Valorant made waves early on for being very invasive. And I'm assuming that Valorant's anti-cheat is a lot stronger compared to the others? Yeah, it is. It's way stronger. Okay. It's also depending, like, your uh, advanced your BIOS, advanced CPU, graphics card, all that shit. Wow. And how... So, you said that cheats actually sell for around, like, $15, right? Is that the most yeah. cheat? Is that the cheapest cheat you can buy? I've heard that they can go for around, like, $500, too, or even more. Yeah. The cheats that were shown in the video you made, those yeah. cost, I think, uh, 100 bucks a week. A week? Wait, why is it... Is it, like, a subscription service? How's that work? Why is it like a week no if you pay for example one day you get a key for the cheat and this cheat just expires after one day so you can't cheat again i see okay and you said the ban rate is after a day right so everyone has to use that software where they change their hardware id or something and then they just keep cheating on different accounts yeah i see and how do you would you know how long it actually takes to create a cheat basically that you have to have a lot of experience in coding it takes like two years to learn to learn this and uh -huh. the coding itself the coding itself also takes i don't know like a month or so Wait, Wait, so you, you took two years to learn how to code cheats and you were 13 when you started cheating. You learned when you were like 11? I started learning coding itself when I was 10, 11, something like that, yeah. I see. So, w because I, I talked to GamerDoc too and he's like a big anti-cheat person, right? That right? He's saying a lot of cheats yeah. are um like pyramid schemes and that a lot of people hop in, show off a cheat and then just dip after taking your money like they scam people. Well, technically, yeah. Like, what's your experience regarding that? Yeah, almost like 90% of the cheat providers are scam. Really? Either they just uh, send you a detected cheat so you get banned instantly uh -huh. or they just exit scam just ban you from the server once you pay it or something like that. Uh-huh. But what's recently going on is actually like a lot of rage <laughs> like rage hacking, right? Like people hack into accounts just to cheat on them just to boost a specific cheat. Like do you have any experience with that? Yeah, these people buy their accounts for mm -hmm. like one euro. One so euro? Some people crack Some people crack like these big accounts. Uh -huh. uh, like they crack a thousand accounts in one second with uh -huh. tools and then they just sell them. Wow. Wait, so this is actually crazy. Wait, just give me one sec. Like, I'm actually, like, really surprised because a lot of people that I've talked to or a lot of people that have reached out to me say that, oh, I can provide you info on cheating and lots of new info. But if you're saying that 90% of the cheats get banned, isn't that just, a, like, a very bad look for all these cheaters promoting cheats? Yeah, it takes really long time to find cheat providers that are really legit. And even if you find legit providers, the cheats are still probably bad. Right. And that's because of Vanguard or is it just across the board altogether. Yeah, that's mostly because of Vanguard, because they really detect cheats really quick. Mm -hmm. And GamerDoc is actually joining these cheating server servers, oh, buying yes. cheats and detecting the loader. Wait, so would you say that what's the longest time that someone has gone like undetected with their cheats? I don't know, it contains on the cheat how good the cheat is, but there's people cheating like one year straight. Mm -hmm. Wait, one year straight? And, and really that's, rare. that's on like the $15 cheat? Nah, you have to quote your own cheat to, uh, for it to be that undetected. The cheats right. you can buy are mostly banning you for the next one week. Right. And usually, would you know what types of what type of people are buying the cheat? Like, are they little kids who want to like just rank up? Or is there like a specific yeah, it's, demographic? It's mostly like 12 year olds are stuck in plats that buy the cheats. Okay. Um, sometimes it's content creators, but that's Wait, also Wait, content creators? Do you yeah. That's kind of crazy, actually, now that I think about it. But let's say, how much of the percentage of the people buying are, like, young kids who don't know better? I don't know, like, 80%. 80%? It's okay. mostly, like, 12-year-old kid, kids that can't win a single game in ranked, so they may buy cheats, basically. And so that's what they resort to? Yeah. I see. Do you have, like, any other insider information? Because this is kind of wild, now that I think about it. Wait, let me ask Ooh. chat what they think and, what like, any other questions they have. Because I'm just really shocked that most of the market is like kids like i knew that kids were impressionable and i knew that kids like are not very good at like researching and all that stuff but i didn't know it was that big of a demographic i thought that probably be like 50 50 or something where you have like adults purchasing these cheats to i don't know that's rare that's really rare it's mostly kids and how do these kids find the uh, discord server is it just th through google or is it like word of mouth it's basically you join one server and you see someone promote a cheat then you join that server and they promote to cheat and join that server. So, I see. Yes, this website, but I that's see. also pretty real. Gotcha. What are color bots, by the way? Someone in my chat is asking. And do you um, know anything that's about a, them? That's a cheat that's pretty undetected. So, uh -huh. for example, when the enemy outline color is uh, yellow, for example, mm -hmm. the cheat is basically just searching for that color on the screen. And once it finds the color yellow, it just mm -hmm. locks on the enemy, you know? I see. Is it similar to the uh, cheat that... I don't know if this is a cheat, actually, but I know it's like a software that changes the crosshair color. I, I'm actually not too familiar about that. 
but what what do you think? You mean the where you can change like the shape and color and shit? Yeah, and you can like change the skin too, right? I don't really know about that, one, to be honest. I see. What do you say is the most widespread cheat right now in Valorant? I would say C1. Someone in your chat just typed C1 somewhere. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's one of the few cheats that are actually do, but it's also a rage cheat. Uh -huh. I see. Why do you think cheats are like, are cheats hard to code, by the way? Or are they just easy to code and they just get detected right away? Like, how, how does that it's, work? It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to bypass Vanguard. It's really hard. Uh -huh. And uh, is it usually, what do you call it? Like, you, you said it was one month, right? Does that scale with how good the cheat is? Like, for example, you're doing a six month work on a cheat. Does it usually mean that the cheat goes undetected for longer? Or, yeah, because I'm super inexperienced with this, right? I'm just trying to understand the amount of time that goes into working on a cheat and how do people profit off? of it and all that stuff yeah these people mostly paste github like software mm -hmm. just paste it make it a little bit more undetected like change the drivers and things like that mm -hmm. and uh, then resell them i see and what do you think about cheats that are on like a separate computer because someone mentioned that too and how that was yeah. not detectable right those are arduino cheats like these mini computers for like 20 euros on amazon uh -huh. that's yeah pretty undetected because it's a separate PC. I see. But also valuable, yeah. I see. And okay, here's another question. Do trigger bots get detected usually or does it have to be a manual report? It gets detected because it also has drivers. Mm -hmm. And if these drivers get detected, you're just getting banned. But yeah, also a lot of the bans are manual bans, so by stealth. I see. And that's because streamers and content creators are reporting them? Or is it because they just report and check it like anyone can do it? Yeah, anyone, basically. I see. This is an interesting question. Have you ever encountered another cheater in a game? And have you gotten cheat diff? I really don't remember. But I think I met cheaters like one or two times. That's pretty rare. I see. Yeah, because I remember in Apex, like back in the day, there'd be multiple cheaters in one lobby. And it's just who had the better cheat. And it was like their speed speed hacking and their aimbotting and, and wall hacking and everything especially like season zero not sure if that's still a thing right now because i haven't played apex but would you say you're most knowledgeable in valorant cheats or what's your like expertise in terms of cheating yeah i would say valorant i cheated the most in valorant i would say i see and is valorant the most in-demand cheat because it's the most popular right now no nah, i wouldn't really say that really wait so what, what's I, the most popular like game to cheat on csgo or uh, actually apex i think csgo and apex wait that's crazy so CSGO still gets a ton of cheaters, e even till now? Even with like Prime and everything? With Prime in basically every match you have at least two cheaters. No way, it's that bad. It's really bad. I see. What about R6, like Siege and everything? Yeah, there's also a lot of cheats there, but I didn't really play that much Siege. I see. But I know there's like people shooting through walls and glitching through walls and things like that. It's weird. Do you know anything about the like the YouTube ads or the like TikTok or YouTube shorts that promote the cheats? Do you know how reliable or do you have any info on that? Um, the people creating this uh, these videos are getting paid by the cheat providers. And they get a cut or something? Like, how does that work? If you promote the cheat, mm -hmm. you're either getting, like, a discount or, like, a one-day key for the cheat. That's why people create media for it. I see. So it, is it based on how many views they get or what like is it just like one one day per one vid or how does it work? yeah like that i see here's another question do you know what ranks cheaters are usually in these cheaters if they buy accounts it's mostly like diamond or model accounts because really? they want to cheat in high elo maybe meet some streamers something like that i see but do you get like a lot of low elo accounts who want to cheat their way up to like diamond or plat from silver bronze or anything like that that's pretty rare i see so all the claims that there are cheaters in like silver and bronze are not not really a thing it's happening but it's really rare like random question but have you stopped cheating yeah yes. i'm saying it to that at the moment okay and what was the reason for you to stop cheating i'm tired of always changing my pc serials and getting banned over and over mm -hmm. and i'm not too bad without cheats i was diamond too i think without cheats i see did you even have fun when you were cheating and all that yeah it's pretty fun it is and wait where where does the fun come from like i just want to understand like is it that you're ru like you're making enemies mad or stuff like that yeah that's one part of it but also just it's fun seeing people through walls and just hitting every short headshot things like that i see is that a common thing within the cheating community or is it is it just that people cheat one time and then they see that oh it's it's a lot of fun and they keep cheating or is it more like oh i'll cheat one time hit the rank i want and then stop cheating so what's the uh, most common behavior i guess i would say that people are cheating again because uh -huh. you can't even reach your dream rank because you get banned before you even reach i don't know diamond or things like that yeah so they're making another account right because the account gets yeah banned. so the main account is never reaching their main rank i guess probably not i see here's another question is it easy to unban yourself on valorant if you get banned your account is banned permanently mm-hmm 
mm-hmm. and the hardware is banned for four months. So if you wait four months, wait only then four you can months. Play again. Yeah, it's only four months, not permanently. Yeah, what's a common like weapon for people who cheat? Is it just a vandal or guardian? It's vandal and guardian. Sometimes sheriff just guns you can one tap. Wait, so is it like a big thing in your circle? Do you do your friends know that you cheat, or do, do all of your friends cheat? Like how how does that work in terms of playing with others? I don't know anyone in real life that cheats. I'm pretty much the only one. But they like your IRL friends don't know as well. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. I had a. I was. I was watching like a cheating vid a while back, right? And do you know how like the aimbot accounts for bullet spread? Because there's a dude like hitting shots mid-air, right? And that's supposed to be like technically a, a random thing. Oh yeah, that's a cheat, uh, like a feature that's mm-hmm. called no spread. No so spread. it basically mm-hmm. just removes the spread of your gun permanently. Wait, but how does that work? Does it like calculate, do math to figure out where the bullet goes or? Yeah, could I you don't exp- really know that. Oh, okay. Um... All I know is it's removing your loom in the spray permanently. Let's see. What is the most ridiculous cheat that you've discovered? There's one that costs 100 a week that can shoot through walls and across the map and no scope and all that things. So that's pretty incredible. But I'm assuming that that got banned pretty quick, right? Yeah. I see. 100 a week though. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. That is actually insane. Do you know if there are any like cheats that can uh, that can give you skins or anything like that? Or is it really just the aim? It can give you permanently the skins, but you can change the skins in the game. Mm-hmm. It's like you're buying the skin with VP, or is it more like it's just an overlay on top of your default gun? Yeah, it's basically an overlay. Okay, so you're not actually like spending money, or you're not actually cheating to get VP and, and actually buying the uh, skin. Right. Nah, that's that's not possible. Okay, let's see. If it's only an overlay, so it's only on your client side, right? So other people, when they yeah. spectate you, they won't see the skins. Correct. Okay. Would you know how much profit like you get by selling cheats, or how much like cheat makers make on a month or on a week? I've met some people that made like 50k a month with cheats. 50k? Wait, wow. Wait, and how long do they to make those cheats, or how long does they take to code them? If you code them, it takes like one or two months, but uh-huh. you have to update the cheats because Vanguard also updates. Right. And wait, how does the ban wave work in Vanguard? Like, you know, with Vanguard updating all the time, do they just ban the cheat all at once? Or if one guy gets detected, um, is it just one guy gets banned and then they detect the other cheat at some other point? I don't really know that, but I know that uh, Dave GamerDog mm-hmm. is, as I said, joining the servers and buying the cheats and then looking at the loader. Mm and then detecting the drivers so the entire cheat just gets gets detected right yeah because i actually talk to gamer dog pretty frequently about this and he shows me like a bunch of a bunch of forums where they're saying that oh uh, gamer dog has already found this out like after a day so i figure he's pretty fast with it which is yeah he is yeah what's the longest you've gone cheating without the ban wait i'm not sure if i've asked this actually i think like two weeks two weeks and how much but did you pay for that's that really rare. i think like 50 bucks 50 bucks per day no a week okay still though it's pretty expensive anyway this has been like super informative man thank you for like coming on and giving us more info about the cheating world yeah no problem all right thank you so much again dude i appreciate you and uh yeah talk to you soon yeah. all right bye bye cheating in valorant is for babies cheating in jetpack joyride is for real men <laughs> so that was an interview with a cheater i'm sorry i was super anxious during the interview like i'm not a great interviewer i'm oh, i was so nervous chat i just want to say please don't cheat again valorant and vanguard they're doing great work. GamerDoc is doing great work. And the anti-cheat is very strong in Valorant, as you've heard. Whatever you think of cheating, just think that a lot of these things are scams. If the ethical side isn't enough for you not to cheat, just remember that he, even this experienced cheater says that 90% are scams, 90% of them get detected. That's it for, for interviewing a cheater. I want to show because GamerDoc told me to show this, and I've been in chat with him a lot, right? This is the forum for cheaters, and there are so many scamming accusation threads which is crazy so this is not a scammer accusation thread it's a discussion on a well-known established inter- incident related to hypervisors exit scam so a lot of people they'll sell you the cheat and then they'll exit really quick or that's what gamer doc tells me so they'll be like oh buy my cheat buy my cheat after one day after or after they receive your money they all leave the server you have no means of contacting them and then they'll try to sell you a- another cheat under a different name and yeah it's it's crazy i actually saw like a tiktok i'm not sure where i saw it but apparently like this person person gave her account to a friend to play on and then the next time they logged into account it 
was banned. And I was like, damn, that was rough. Because apparently that account had like $3,000 in skins. And all the comments were saying like, yeah, it's your fault because you were account sharing. So just a heads up, do not, please, for the love of God, do not share your accounts. Enable two-factor authentication. But here, look at this. Me personally paid long? 1.3k USD for the invite plus lifetime sub. This has led to many concerns. If the biggest private cheat community can exit scam like this, what can we prevent? It's crazy. A lot of these things are just scams. Not that I want cheats to be real, but just a heads up that a good part of the cheating community is just scamming people. Sorry, that will be deleted soon. All HV reviews are pretty fake. Users are scared of getting bad and losing money for speaking facts, but the fact is, HV has been detected this whole time, which I can confirm. So this is like a big cheat maker, and it's been detected the whole time. They're just selling it as undetected. Thing is, their market at the end of the day, right? Their market is our, our kids who don't know better, which is the worst part because it's not that it's, I, I don't know how to explain it, man. I don't want to say that kids are naive. I don't, maybe they're a bit naive, but kids get your priorities straight, chat. And my main thing is where are these guys getting the money? Like they're using their mom's credit card to cheat. Anyway, it's wild, dude. But please guys, for the love of God, do not cheat. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, you're just ruining someone else's experience for your own fun.